Caressa McKnight sent me this article about this woman right here, representative of Massachusetts, Ayanna Presley. And then at the title of the article in which I'm going to read, it reminded me so much of the video I just did on Lori Lightfoot. It's just switching one mammy out for another. And then Caressa proceeded to tell me that this woman hangs in the same circles as Alexandria Cortez. That told that right there tells me all I needed to know. So like Lori Lightfoot, Ayanna Presley wants to toe the line for illegal immigrants and getting them some uh, stimulus for this virus. Illegal immigrants, might I add, they're not here legally. They're here illegally, meaning they came over and they snuck into the establishment. Representative Ayanna Presley said Tuesday that the next virus spending bill ought to be subsidized, ought to subsidize illegal immigrants and prison inmates. Now, I can see where she's going with the prison inmates. OK, fine, you know, whatever. It, you know, it is what it is, even though they're going to fight tooth and nail not to give them anything. They're probably like, well, we did let some of you out of jail. Shouldn't that be stimulus enough? But as for that, uh, for those immigrants, why? They're technically not American citizens. Should they have been compensated, it should come from wherever country they came from, which most of them came probably from Mexico. Not saying all of them did, because some immigrants come from other places around the world. Let that country take care of them. In an interview with MSNBC, the Massachusetts Democrat and, Mount, and member of the far left squad of freshman House members characterized those groups as vulnerable and called giving money to them one of the top lines for a future debate. I'm telling you, they're doing this shit all strictly for votes. They trying to get reelected. We need to continue to make federal investments in our community health center, said Ms. Presley, when asked about what should be included in the phase four bill being considered on Capitol Hill about reopening the economy. We need to center the humanity of every individual family and worker that includes not leaving behind our undocumented and our uninsured. She continued in the interview, a clip from which was posted by the Daily Caller. Ms. Presley said that the new bill must continue to make those investments to support vulnerable populations like those experiencing homelessness, incarcerated men and women. She also said that the third bill, a massive two trillion dollar spending package should be implemented with an eye towards such groups. We're focused right now making sure that the CARES Act and its implementation is one that is meeting the urgent need and mitigating the hurt that so many of our families are experiencing, all of our families are experiencing right now. I'm going to say in this video, like I did with Lori Lightfoot, they're getting them set aside that should be given to other people who were already born here. That's going to leave a lot of people out in the cold because it's like if you give them those set asides, how much is going to be left for the people who were born here? Like, it's not that hard. I, some people will probably listen to this and say, oh, I'm being, you know, mean and, you know, that's not right and everything. What if I was in that position? Well, all I'm going to say is this. Thank God I'm not in that position. Because there's some people who are born here who aren't even going to get a stimulus package or a stimulus check. And who knows when them things are actually going to be sent out. Because they said the, the latest date I've heard was September. Which day, I'm not sure. I'm, sure, I'm sorry, what date, I'm not entirely sure. But again, here you have another black woman towing that line for illegal immigrants. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's like ever since they told uh, black women that they were the backbone of the community, they managed to flip that and tried to make themselves the backbone of every community damn near almost except her own. They want to make every other community feel good about themselves, but the one that you're supposed to be the backbone for looks like shit. Amazing how that happens. That's a It's like a weird magic trick. At that point, it's not even magic. It's witchcraft. But... Here we, I said, here we go yet again. 
I can't even bring myself to say that I'm even remotely surprised or shocked anymore. Is a reason why they call why I call them Democrats. And before anyone think and takes that the wrong way, no, this is not me saying that I support the Rethuglicans, because that's my name for them. It's just that when it comes to them, they try to be so outreached to everybody. But like I tell you, they're only doing this for votes. But I'm telling you right now, and everything that's going on right now, nobody's really thinking about voting a damn thing. Everybody right now is just fighting for survival. Now, I don't know whether or not they're going to approve it. That's not up to me. All I'm giving is my honest opinion. They want to include everybody else in this package that shouldn't be there, in my honest opinion, and push everyone who should be there almost to the back. Like, for what? Like, these are undocumented immigrants. Meaning, and it makes you wonder, how many set-asides have they been getting before this uh, virus got out? How long have they been getting set-asides from the beginning of March from all the way uh, back, all the way backwards? How much were they getting? What were they getting? If anything, this just exposed who they are as far as their status in this uh, in this establishment. Now they know who they are. Because they have it documented who is legal and who is not. And I have a feeling it's just as many illegal than not. You heard the one I did about Chicago. They said they have 280,000 undocumented immigrants in Chicago. In the Chicago area. That is a lot of people. Now, I don't know what the what the population size is for Chicago, but 280,000 is nothing to frown at. But they keep towing that line and they keep towing that water for all these other groups. But when we ask for something. And it could be the smallest thing. We get so much pushback. We get so much, well, that's going to have to be put on hold. We get so much, well, not at this time. We get so much, well, we can't, we can't afford it right now. It's almost like when you ask your parents, like when you were younger, can you get this and can you get that? And they're like, well, we can't afford it right now and everything like that. It sounds just like that. But it's not so much a want, it's more of a need. It's not a liability. We're asking for assets. But like I said in the other video, they'll take care of everybody else, but leave us in the dust and then expect us to vote for them in the upcoming election. Make it make sense. You can't make any sense out of this. You can't. And like I said, they continue to use black women or is it that a lot of black women allow themselves to be used? I think it's more of the latter. As long as you got a status and a title, you all good. It's like dance, puppets, dance. But when they're done with you, when they're done with their puppet, they'll be bringing out the scissors and prepared to cut the strings and you won't be able to be mobile. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Have your notifications turned on and I'll talk to you in the next one.